campsite was an adventure. The first thing you do when you get to a campsite is that you have to put up a tent, which is super hard. We laughed a lot and couldn't seem to get the poles right, but finally we did it. It was cool watching my dad and mom, seeing how they fixed the problems together and helped my brother and me have fun. We sang songs and talked about things we saw on the trail leading to our campsite. I realized something. It surprised me. But at home, I always use my iPad or watch TV and don't really spend time with my family as much. When we were on the trail, we spent more time talking and helping each other. It helped me feel close to my family, and I really like that. Take a look at this picture. Isn't it fun? You know what else is fun? Today's Bible story. Let's listen together. It's time for our Bible story. Today we will learn another fun story about Jesus. So after Jesus rose up to life from the place where he was buried, he appeared to his disciples, his friends, who followed his teachings and loved him very much. They saw Jesus go through really painful things. They thought he was dead, but now he was standing right in front of them. At first they were afraid, but Jesus told them, don't be afraid, and soon they weren't afraid anymore. They started to believe that Jesus was alive again and in front of their very own eyes. And then he did something that made them extra sure. He showed them his hands. His hands had scars that proved it was him. The same Jesus that was on the cross just a few days before. When something happens to you, like scanning your knee, when you're playing outside, usually you can see where you were hurt while it's getting better. Jesus showed them the places in his hands that were on the cross, and the disciples were able to see where his wounds used to be. Jesus went through all of that because he loved the world and wanted to save us all. When they saw the scars on Jesus' hands, the disciples knew without a doubt that it was truly Jesus. He really did raise up back to life, and because of what they saw with their own eyes, they would have the courage to tell others what they saw. Our family really connected on the trip. I talked to a little squirrel. That was super fun. And my brother and I made funny and bubbly sounds like the water that was flowing next to the trail. That Bible story was something great though, wasn't it? I imagined the disciples were on a journey too, kind of like my family. They had to hike through all sorts of things together. Jesus brought them all together and helped them to believe. And Jesus does that for us too. No matter who we are, Jesus connects us to each other. When we believe in Jesus, together we can do things we couldn't do by ourselves. Well, gotta run now. I'm still trying to catch up on the sleep that I missed while I was camping. Thanks for tuning in and growing with me. 